we're not a cult. We're not a secret political party. We're not a little groupie. We are sent from the time of antiquity through John the Baptist and in Jesus Christ to all people. Universality. We're not a cult. We're not an individual group. So therefore, at this time of year, when we as a church throughout the world, and especially in Europe right now, are being put under a bushel, trying to hide who we are, the European Parliament just declared that those who work for the European Parliament, that's all of Europe, cannot use the words Merry Christmas because they're divisive, because they're separate. We know the goal of Christmas is universality. It's not segregation. It's not breaking people apart. It's bringing people together because what we do is God's work. And God's work when he created us, gave us the mandate for justice, for peace, for taking care of the poor, for, for dignity. That's the, the, the message of Christianity. And for any political group, whether it's the European Parliament or our local government, to prevent people from pronouncing our faith with joy, saying something like, Merry Christmas. No, you've got to say something neutral and harmful to no one. Everyone is invited. Not everyone is the same, but everyone is invited. So in our community, we have Muslims, we have Jews, we have atheists, that's fine. And to them, we could greet our greeting. We share our greeting. If they accept it, fine. If they don't, that's fine too. But why should you and I change how we rejoice? Because it's not, quote, politically acceptable or expedient and exclusive, as the European Parliament says, and calls Christian theology Christian talk. No, we are proud to Christian talk. We are proud to be Christians who prepare, whether you use a Christmas tree or a, a, a Advent wreath or the nativity set, to proclaim what we believe. And, and listen, our job here, it's not me, it's the Holy Scriptures to declare to all people the salvation of our God.